the remedy coca the coca is also called as a mountaineer's remedy usually it is cultivated more in the bolivia and the people of the bolivia are eating the leaves of this coca plant for an exhilarating effect that is for their uh, proper strength to give them energy they are eating the leaves of this coca plant uh, it's like that uh, in the india we are eating the pan so it's like uh, same and uh, the coca plant is also responsible for causing some bad effects the drug abusers are taking the cocaine this cocaine is also the alkaloid of this coca plant so usually in the cocaine poisoning there are two stages the stage of excitement and the stage of depression we will see that how the coca is having action on the our cns especially if we say according to dr c m boga the main action of the coca plant or the coca remedy that is on the respiration heart uh, brain and also on the muscles so first we can say that in the case of coca poisoning the people who are taking more and more amount of cocaine as these are two different remedies but the main important function is same in both of them and that is on the dopamine so the main function of the dopamine is to transport the signals from the presynaptic to the postsynaptic neurons but the dopamine transporter which helps this uh, uh, help the dopamine for this function is getting blocked during the time of that uh, when the person is taking cocaine or the coca leaves in an excess due to that abuse of this particular drug the dopamine's action is getting hampered due to that the dopamine will get accumulated in that synaptic cleft itself it will not able to go for its proper function so because of that accumulation of the dopamine the person is going to get an exhilaration state means the person will go in a state of a euphoria very much happiness excitement great garrulousness is going to be seen in them and that is also because the dopamine is called as an uh, happy hormone so that is a, a reason and at that time the person will develop the flushing of the face the excessive violent perspiration will be there dyspnea tachypnea there will, there will be vomiting in the breathing but it is uh, not at very uh, severe stage because it is still in the stage of excitement which we told that is a stage of uh, that is first stage of the cocaine poisoning so that is a thing and another thing that is having action on the cns also so because of that the brain is also getting affected in them due to that the uh, uh, glucose metabolism is hampered due, uh, because of uh, uh, hampering in the glucose metabolism the blood glucose level is getting increase and increase but apart from the increase in the blood glucose level the brain is not getting proper amount of glucose due to that the person of this coca will develop the symptoms of hallucination uh, difficulty in the thinking memory or we can say decision making ability is getting decreased or we can say hallucination specially uh, related to hearing they are thinking that there are different noises coming from uh, 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 their surrounding environment to them that is the hallucinations so all these are the symptoms we can see in the first stage that is stage of excitement also during the cocaine poisoning which are also mentioned in our boric madira medica second stage we can see that is a stage of depression so in the initial stage what we had seen that there was accumulation of the dopamine at the synaptic cleft because of which the stage of euphoria was there but after some time this dopamine will get completely used up because of this depletion in the dopamine level the person will also go into the depressive stage so now here we can correlate with the symptoms of uh, boric also and the sphere of action of the uh, dr c m boger uh, according to dr c m boger the respiration is getting disturbed so in them the more and more dyspnea will be there more and more dyspnea will uh, will also cause uh, spasmodic asthma like symptoms hemoptysis also will be seen and in the case of uh, circulation in the case of the uh, brain it is also getting disturbed so the brain functions are getting uh, more and more disturbed because glucose is uh, still not available to them and in the heart the main symptoms are that is uh, irregular heart rhythms means 
the uh, pulse is getting increase and increase and the uh, irregular pulsation is going to be seen in that apart from this we had also seen uh, we had also said the function on the muscles so on the muscles it is increasing the cramps exhaustion of the muscles uh, crawling sensation in the muscle and remember one is a, a very important symptom of the coca and also seen in the cocaine medicine in both of these medicine the important symptom is seen that is sensation as if something is crawling in their skin uh, like we can correlate with the formication as if something worms or some foreign bodies are present in their skin which are crawling in inside their skin or in the subcutaneous tissues they can feel that which we can also see during the time of cocaine poisoning so this is how we can say and we can correlate toxicologic point of view also the stage of excitement and the stage of depression the symptoms of coca remedy and also remember uh, in case of the glucose metabolism we told that it is causing hyperglycemia increase in the blood glucose level but uh, brain is not getting proper amount of glucose for its functioning but because of increasing the blood glucose level they may suffer from the uh, diabetes mellitus and that diabetes mellitus is called as an adren uh, adrenal gland affected diabetes mellitus because dopamine is secreted from the adrenal medulla so indirectly we can say that adrenal medulla is getting affected by the coca and the cocaine alkaloid so that is the thing and because of this increase in amount of the uh, blood glucose level the neuropathic symptoms are going to be seen so person will suffer from impotency and difficulty in the erections also so in the boric it is written that impotency with the diabetes so that is a symptom how we can get from the coca and uh, sometimes people may get confused between the coca and the cocaine but the main difference is that the cocaine is the alkaloid of the coca plant but the main principle of action is same in both of them so that's all for uh, coca remedy and and last but not the least we can also say that the coca we told as it is a mountaineer's remedy but in the mountaineer's remedy uh, they, uh, the people are developing altitude sickness so in the altitude sickness also you might see the symptoms uh, as we describe in the stage of excitement and the stage of depression in the uh, cocaine uh, poisoning so like that uh, difficulty in breathing difficulty in respiration with along with the uh, uh, mentally they are very much uh, difficulty in uh, thinking ability also they are not properly able to uh, walk because of the muscular cramps so these all are the different problems along with the nausea vomiting itself so these all are the different uh, symptoms we can see in the patient of altitude sickness so that's all for coca remedy thank you